I'll, I'll play the song at a, a medium pace for you, and then I'll s slow down some of the licks for you. Here it is. So the introduction is... So that's it at a, a kind of medium pace. Sometimes I play a little quicker than that on stage. And, but uh, now I'm going to slow it down for you so you can uh, learn each part and put it together. So the opening lick, which is a very tricky little thing, it's a, it's a pull off and hammer on kind of thing. So it's, it's G is the first chord. There, and then. There. F sharp into G. I'll do that again. Now the, the, the lick in G. Then F sharp with a open, open G, B and E. And then I slide up to the B minor position and I hold those two notes down there, but the rest of these are harmonics gives that really mysterious sound. And then into... Now I'm, I'm playing, the, I'm, I'm playing the, this uh, kind of sound here to, to give it a, almost like a train feel. coming into the station here. So I kind of get that train whistle thing and I bring my slide my finger up to the B bass there. Like that. Okay. Uh, there, there's a few a few things that I wanted to point out. Um, uh, the, the melody is anticipated uh, in, in a certain part of this, uh, the verse of this song. Here. So if they, in time that sounds like one, 
Poo. There's also one other thing I wanted to point out was in this part here. What I, what I did, I, I believe, on the original recording is I came up here with my right hand to give it that sound so everything kind of melts, the notes melt into one another like this. And then I slowly, on the last one, I moved right back, which gave it a bit more drama there. And, which led me back in, back into the melody again. Um, and uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much all I had to tell you about that. If you watch carefully how I play it, if you've got the book, um, then you'll know.